Right, here we are. As you can see, not in Tenerife anymore. Back home, got here about a week ago. Still got the top on though. Um, yeah, talking about Tenerife. Um, I kind of been putting this video off a little bit. Um, as some of you might have seen on my socials, pretty pissed off with myself um, at my performance in Tenerife. Um, yeah, it was disappointing in the double elimination. Um, but yeah, I was obviously a bit down after that. I didn't really want to um, talk about it, but here I am. It's been a while now, I'll reflect on it. Um, we're all good. Um, but on that, I'd just like to say thank you to um, all the support that's come my way over this whole um, Canaries trip. And uh, yeah, it's been an amazing trip. The contests didn't really go amazing, but at the end of the day, it's all about learning. But yeah, in terms of um, Tenerife, um, firstly, an amazing event, really. Um, the organization was amazing, really good um, treatment of the riders. We got our own space. Um, the live stream was awesome. Um, if you saw any of that, then you had Danny Bruch um, for, for putting a lot of work into it. He got, felt really bad for him after he got injured because he wanted to compete as well and he got injured in his first heat, so um, sucks for him. But um, yeah, should have really been a five-star event with, with the prize money and everything. Um, but I think this year, um, first year back in Tenerife, it's so good to see it back. And yeah, next year I'm, I'm sure they're going to do it again after the success of this one. Um, but yeah, as I said in my previous video, I was quite looking forward to it. I've been there a bit, I know the wave a little bit better, it suits my sailing a bit more. Um, and we had some really good um, practice days, as you saw the last video. So I was feeling pretty up for it. And um, taking away the good points, I had kind of a heat, my first heat of the single, which got cancelled. Um, and then I did, which I, I was winning quite comfortably. And then um, when they actually re-ran the heat, um, I felt quite comfortable and happy, happy with my sailing. Um, and yeah, I was, uh, after that, I was feeling pretty confident in myself. Um, yeah, getting some good wave rides, felt really comfortable with the equipment and everything, which helped so much. And then, um, yeah, double elimination. I had a, a tough battle with Julian Salmon, obviously local boy, one of my favourites. Didn't quite clinch it, but I mean, just you know so hard to beat out there so i knew that was always going to be hard and i was also with um adam Morchel and uh esteban um and adam was also i mean after the comp we had some session and he was honestly one of the standouts so um it was a tough heat um but uh yeah annoyingly didn't really put it together um in the heat it was really super super light and I was on my 4.5 and a, my 73 litre board. Um, hindsight, maybe it would be nice to have some, some bigger gear that works a bit better in those conditions. Because, um, uh, yeah, I mean, some people on like five sixes out there on that day. And uh, yeah, like it's, uh, it's something that maybe I didn't work on too much, that super, super light wind sailing. So maybe, maybe a little bit bad on my part for not kind of training so much in that and it's something to work on. Um, but yeah, tough heap anyway, I was, I was uh, still kind of happy to have made a round, although be, winning that first heat and then not making it through um, really does suck actually, because um, you make a heat and I think that put me in 17th position, which is uh, you know not a terrible position to be in. But then if they do a double elimination, which they did, um, yeah, you kind of start all the way from the bottom, um, which is what happened. Yeah, I mean, I think that's something that I have to highlight as well, is that every single one of my heats was the first heat of the day, which is really not ideal. I don't really like it. Kind of one of the reasons I didn't kind of document so much of the stuff, just because being that first heat, it's always quite stressful and you've always got to be ready and, um, you know, throughout the day they're making like 
a call every 15 minutes so you can't really go home and relax too much so um, the whole entire week was like that for me which um, at the end probably I think kind of drains you kind of mentally and physically just being on the beach all day just really um, kind of tires you out so you know that wasn't ideal um, but yeah so double elimination um, I had my heat I was against Walter Scotto who's a, a super good local sailor there and uh, Gregory who you would have seen in the last video um, from from Gran Canaria you know really sailing really well um, but I still you know really backed myself that I could get, get through that heat and win the heat um, well uh, annoyingly it kind of all all kind of went to shit in a way uh, yeah was just really 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 struggling out there and it's um, not something that usually happens too much for me in that spot was I think a big part of it was down to um, a, quite a noticeable bit of south swell that was going on that day um, which I do struggle with as well when, when they do get south swell there so you get kind of waves breaking in places that they don't normally break and um, doing weird things and I managed to get some one sort of hit or turn in at the start and then literally nothing else which you know it's just really frustrating and you know when you know you can do something but kind of the ocean or the waves don't line up to you and um, yeah that's definitely part, partly to wave selection but I guess a lot of these the windsurf contests and surfing and these kind of sports that we just rely on the ocean a part does come down to luck so yeah there's a few things that I want to work on but um, just gutted that it just didn't go my way and um, yeah because I really wanted to progress and and show show a little bit more of my skills which is disappointing but um, that's the way it goes um, yeah I literally just sat on the beach for about an hour after that like just uh, sitting on the beach thinking what the hell am I doing here like um, it's it is it's quite mental it's just windsurfing at the end of the day but it, it does affect you when you put the time and effort into it and uh, you know you saw the emotions from Mark in the final I mean the stuff that he's been through this year I'm so happy for him that he, he's managed to do that but as, as you saw like so emotional and um, even for me I mean obviously I'm not at that level but still obviously it meant quite a bit to me and I was quite sad about it all um, but uh, yeah I've got to try and push on now and uh, yeah, there's, there's definitely a few comps ahead of me, so. So yeah, if you've got through all this, then well done. It's been a bit of a ramble, but I thought I'd put it out there because I know there's, there's people who might want to listen to it. Um, but yeah, that was Tenerife for me. Um, not what I wanted. Um, but uh, I have to say though, my prediction with Tobias worked out pretty well. He was smashing it. Um, yeah, really, really good work from him. And I'm trying to think if there's any other standouts, but. Uh, yeah, amazing work from, from the young fella. And uh, yeah, that's the, um, that was the Canaries trip done. Annoyingly, I kind of had to go home um, quite quickly. I drove back with, with Dad. Um, I was, was wanted to see if I could do, do stop off in Portugal and stuff for some sailing, um, but it didn't work out. We had some things to get back to. Um, so slightly annoying, so I had to cut that a little bit short, but overall, a really amazing trip to the Canaries this year. So yeah, there we go. In terms of what's coming up next, it could potentially be quite a busy uh, couple months this autumn, food contests. Yeah, with some luck, I'm gonna be putting out a few things from, from home as well. So um, stay tuned for that. There'll be things coming, hopefully. Um, some, some exciting new equipment is gonna turn up, which I can't wait to get on. Um, yeah, but that's about it. There you go.